This is Kenneth S. with your Colfax News, and I am here today with Shartasia Miller. She is a member of the NAACP. She is the secretary. That's correct. And she does phenomenal work for this organization. Folks, welcome her to the show, because I know I am. Thank you. Shartasia, please tell us what's going on with you folks over there at the NAACP. What's going on? Well, I must let you know that I am the secretary of the Aurora branch because we do have two branches here in the Colorado area, which would be Denver and Aurora. And we meet every second Saturday of the month, 10 a.m. at Lighting Star Missionary Baptist Church. Yeah. We've come to the point now where we're ready to go ahead and host our NAACP Colorado Wyoming State Convention and Civil Rights Institute, which will be held October the 12th through the 14th. Our state president is Rosemary Lytle, and our local president is Dr. Omar Malcolm. We will be featuring workshops with discussions and speakers highlighting game changer issues, criminal justice reform, education equity, and economic empowerment. The annual event is complimentary for our youth, and it will take place in various locations in Aurora and Centennial. As long as your youth will register on Eventbrite by October the 12th, they will be in for free. After that, it will be a one-time cost of $25 for all three days for all of the events that are going on. You can bring family, friends, but everyone would need to go ahead and pay that $25 cost on Eventbrite. Members of the media can request convention credentials. Um, the Aurora President Montgomery said that at this time in history, the NAACP is certainly needed as never before. For this time is honored in voice of the civil rights and the social justice. We invite you to come and share ideas and to get more information on what we're doing in the Aurora branch and in our community. We have one meeting a month and that will be held every Saturday, the second Saturday of the month at Rising Star Missionary Baptist Church. The thing that you can get from the NAACP Aurora branch is that we have hands-on with our elected officials, um, the Aurora Police Department. We also have our Arapahoe commissioners that come to our meetings. Um, we have different trainings that are done during our meetings. We also are, are a close niche community where we're just trying to help one so, another. So, I know that the NAACP Aurora branch um, is rich in the history that it has. Um, how long has it been around? The Aurora Branch has been around for 27 years. Okay, so fairly new with regards to the NAACP as an institution in and of itself. Exactly, because we do have the natu National Branch, mm -hmm. and then we were founded by our Dr. BSB, Barbara Shannon Bannister, mm -hmm. that started the Aurora Branch. And so we also have another branch here, which is the Denver Branch. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, um, state is represented under all three, so we're all together. Okay, and who, who, uh, who's the head of that? That would be our state president, Rosemary Lytle. Um, she is one that definitely is an advocate for all branches, um, answers all of our questions if we need anything from her. Once she did um, state that the Convention and Civil Rights Institute is truly designed to give leaders and the, the state units an opportunity to come together, gather strength, recommit to the NAACP, and build strategy to move the mission forward. And our mission this year is being steadfast, and so we're going to continue to be to stand and stand together. And that's where that Oftentimes steadfast comes when from. When it comes down to being a community advocate, it's hard to go out and do all things for all people. And with that being said, sometimes it's hard to champion everybody's cause and without funding, without uh, help from community. So I guess my question to you would be, what is the Aurora branch doing for community? For one, um, I, I understand that there has been talk and, and the difference in between the different uh, branches. But for Aurora, we do not like to just be out there for photos and, and on the front page. We do a lot of things behind the scene. We do have a legal redress team that goes out and takes on cases for, from the community. Um, for example, there's been a lot of um, the KKK been written on people 
um, doors and, and windows and we've been in contact with those families working with the Aurora Police Department. Chief Metz is awesome. He's always at our meetings when he can be there. If he can't be there, he sends someone in his place to give us an update on what's going on with our community. Um, all of our state um, commissioners and the uh, council, they come and give us support, give us updates on what's going on there and how they can be of assistance to the Aurora NAACP branch. So we, we definitely um, cater to the community, um, their needs, if there's any concerns. We did have a family that came through and they were still concerned about um, a case that had not been resolved and we put them in position to speak with the people that, that can actually help them. So, and if we can't do it, we find out who can. Shartesha, I'm glad that you bring up that point that the Aurora branch is not just out for photo ops and that you guys go out into community and do things to help empower the community because one of the gripes that a lot of people who have tried to become members of the NAACP Denver branch or just the NAACP in general, one of the gripes that they've had is that they don't do enough for community or that when things happen in community that are on a, an individual basis with regards to injustice, unless there's a camera out there to capture the NAACP coming out to champion a cause, they're not there. How do you speak to that? Well, I can speak to that by saying that our president now, which has been in office since January, we did just elect new um, elected officials for our branch and we have moved into a different direction. We have gotten several different memberships and most of our meetings we have at least 30 to 40 people show up. Um, so the word is getting out there. We're definitely doing more in the community. Um, and in 2018, we're gonna start our calendar for more activities that we can do. We're gonna find out um, more things that we can help the city with um, to get more involved there. We do go out and recruit as many youth as we can because they're our, they're our future. And so our youth department and our, they have their own branch and they do a lot in our community. So I want to give kudos to our youth because they are following in good footsteps and they shine more so than the adults do at times. Well, so. you hear here on Yoko <laughs> Facts News, Chartasia is giving kudos to the youth branch for the NAACP. And so definitely to, to what your question is, you know, just with the photos and just being on camera, that's not our desire. That's not what we're there for. We are actually here for the community. And that's what we're going to continue to do and continue to fight for is justice as well as being able to be there for the people that are dealing with any kind of concerns. We, we don't have lawyers. We're, we're not the ones that will be, we'll go to court with you, but we don't have someone that we can say, hey, we got this lawyer for you, that lawyer, but we will put you in contact with people that can help you and assist you if you are in situations that um, will, would need you to have some legal redress um, education behind it. We have powerful people. We do have different committees. We have leadership committees. We have um, an our uh, planning committee we do we have all sorts of uh, different uh, membership committees that we have come up with and you can find all of that information on our website and that will be at www.auroracoloradonaacp.org and so that will give you some overall information on what we're doing who our leaders are and then you can also email me since I am the secretary, and if you have any questions, I'll be able to um, answer those or put you in the right direction. And my email address is tasiad6 at aol.com, T-A-S-H-I-A, D as in David, the number six at aol.com. That's awesome. That is awesome. And for those listening, I'm hoping that these answers dispel some of the bad feelings or myths that are out there in community about what the NAACP is not doing. I know personally I've seen Chartasia out in community uh, leading the way in trying to change social injustice, 
speaking up for those who are voiceless and I tip my hat to you young lady. Thank you so well, much. Well I'd like to thank you for uh, coming and sharing some of your time on your Kofax News. Folks this young lady is absolutely awesome. Please look out for her. Reach out to her if you have any issues going on in your community. If you have questions about uh, any social injustices or about the NAACP or about this race forum coming up and you can find out more information on the Your Colfax News page on Facebook or Your Colfax News Network on YouTube. Please subscribe, please like us, please.